questions, Rad. So many questions. How are we going to answer them all? Will, a journey of a thousand questions begins with a single answer. So let's get stuck in with this video question from Tanner. That was quite poetic. Oh, thanks. I came up with it myself. RDDSP is Super Smash Brothers on the DS. Question two. Is some no car coming on the PS3? Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Tanner. And keep an eye out for your GGSP pin. To answer your question about whether Super Smash Bros. is on the DS, well, there is a version of Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 3DS, which was released back in 2014. But if you mean the latest Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, this is currently only available on the Nintendo Switch. Now to whether Subnautica is coming to the PS3, I really doubt it. Unknown Worlds, who made the game, developed it for PC and then released console editions for PS4 and Xbox One. But I don't think they would spend time creating a version for PS3 considering it's a much older platform. Indeed, I do tend to agree. But maybe we should ask Darren too, you know, just in case he knows more, because he knows a lot of things. He's... Ahoy, Darren speaking. Hey, Darren. It's Will and Rad here at the Ask SP desk, and we were just wondering if you know whether there's a chance that Subnautica may ever come to the PS3. I highly doubt it, Rad. It's quite rare for developers to make new games for older consoles. Aside from the odd example, like the Just Dance series, for instance. And in fact, a few years ago, one of the developers of Subnautica said that older generation consoles may not actually be powerful enough to run the game, even on low settings. It was also noted that older consoles tend to have a whole different architecture to modern consoles, making it difficult to port games to those systems too. But Darren, you're an older system of sorts. How do you handle new games? How does that work? <laughs> Well, I never. What are you implying, Rad? I'm as youthful and as hip as ever. In fact, I can deliver mad rhymes with the best of them. Behold! <clears throat> My name is Darren, and I'm here to say I'm gonna laser noobs every night and day. A wiki wiki word to your mum bot. Yeah, wow, you're right, Darren. You're heaps hip. You sure showed us. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Bye. Wild Wild West. Uh, I hated that. He does have quite a haunting voice, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm definitely haunted. Well, uh, let's do another question. How about this one from Queen of the Gaming Angels from the Angel Palace? <laughs> Greetings, GGSP. I am the Queen of the Gaming Angels, and I have recently come across a large problem. I have run out of games to play. I enjoy Minecraft, Stardew Valley, Disney, Animals, and don't mind a good battle either. Do you have any recommendations that I may enjoy that are available on an iOS platform? P.S. Ms. Gem, please do these. Oh, I should probably get Gem on the phone. Um... Gem! What's going on? What? What's happening? Oh, uh, we have some things for you to do. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, thanks, Gem. That was great. OK, bye. Bye, Gem. The clarity on that's amazing. P.P.S. Ms. Rad, please do these. P.P.P.S. <laughs> Mr. Will, welcome to the team. I cannot wait to see more. Your show is on the top of my watching list always. We're not busy keeping the rest of the gaming angels in check. I love you work. Keep gaming. Her Highness, the Queen of Gaming Angels. Thanks, Queen of the Gaming Angels. So glad you and your gaming angels like the show. Now, Your Majesty, if you are after recommendations for iOS games and you like Minecraft, Stardew Valley, Disney and Animals, you might enjoy games like Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, Terraria, which is heavily inspired by Minecraft, maybe Clash of Clans to get that battle fix, or Disney Crossy Road, which is a great on-the-go option with a heavy helping of Disney. And it's by Australian developer Hipster Whale. There's also a Harvest Moon mobile game called Harvest Moon Seeds of Memories for some more farming fun. In fact, the original Harvest Moon was said to be an inspiration for Stardew Valley. You can really tell they're very similar. Hopefully there are some good options there that you'll enjoy, Queen of Gaming Angels. But moving now to another question from Satchel. Hi, GGSP. Do you have any news on who will be future DLC characters in Smash Bros Ultimate? Love the show. Thanks, Satchel. Pronounce the same as Satchel. Thanks, Satchel. If you're wondering about future DLC characters in Smash Bros. Ultimate, well, aside from the officially announced ones like Piranha Plant and Joker, there have been a bunch of rumours floating around about other possible DLC characters. So we better sound the rumour alert. I repeat, sound the rumour alert. Wow, that sure is loud. Consider me alerted. No, I will. OK, so some of the rumoured characters we could see include Erdrick from the Dragon Quest games, Rayman, 
and even Steve from Minecraft. But would you pass the salt, please, Will? Because as with all rumours, we should take them with a grain of salt at the very least. Yes, delicious rumour salt. Apparently the co-creator of Cuphead said that they want to see Cuphead and Mugman in Smash. And now that Cuphead is coming to the Switch, maybe that will be extra possible. But I'll take that with a sprinkle of salt as well to be on the safe and salty side. Yeah, good idea, Will. You know who I still long to see as an official Smash Brothers Ultimate Fighter? Boatmill? No, that would be so good though. I was actually talking about my boy Waluigi. Of course, I'm sure that would make a lot of Waluigi fans happy, but I don't know how likely it is. Uh, well, I for one will be keeping my fingers crossed and throwing some salt over my shoulders because that's lucky. Do you want some? Sure. Oh. Yeah, bit of luck for Will. Thank you. And on that note, we are out of time for this week. Well, time sure flies here at the Ask SP desk. If you have a question you'd like us to answer, send it to us here. And if you make it a video, you'll have your chance to score a GGSP pin. Whoa! Oh, on the topic of time, Will, I've got another wise and poetic saying that I totally just made up. Are you ready? Sure. <clears throat> time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. Wait, didn't linguist and computer scientist Anthony Ertinger come up with that? <laughs> Aren't we all, in some ways, linguist and computer scientist Anthony Ertinger? <laughs>